Hello, this is Christian Idealism, and today I'm going to be giving a critique of simulation theory. This is, of course, brought to you by Cal Allender. So first, we need to define our terms. Simulation theory requires that there is an offsite of where a computer or mind is located. From this offsite, a simulated world is created, and you would therefore have at least two levels to reality. The first level is the simulation itself, which would have its own digital ontology, and the second level is the world from which the simulation is coming from. The second level, if having a digital ontology, which is a simulation within a simulation, would go into an infinite regress. But if the second world doesn't have a digital ontology, in other words, if it's not a simulation, then it would have a different ontology, which could either be mental or physical or somewhere in between. The point is that the second level, if not a simulation, would be base reality, and therefore, whatever the ontology of that second level world is, would actually be the true nature of reality, which, again, could either be mental or physical. So there are some problems from the start. The first objection I, I want to bring up is the equivocations that simulation theory can have. If one does not properly define their terms, then literally any reality can be a quote-unquote simulation. This is why one must stick to a definition of digital ontology if they are to stay consistent with definitions. If we stick to the definition of simulation of the simulated world having a digital ontology, then the first problem is that it, it becomes ad hoc. If a theory requires an ontology that is not self-sufficient, that is not a base reality, then it violates Occam's razor due to it having an ontology that is not needed. Many idealists object to substance dualism due to the fact that it has, it has an unnecessary ontology of the physical. However, simulation theory is much worse given that the extra ontology not only is unnecessary, but that it literally cannot exist on its own, it requires a base ontology to even work. If one already believes that base reality is physical or mental, then there is no need to add an extra ontology of digital if all observations are consistent with just that base ontology. I also want to point out the infinite regress and simplicity problem. Due to the very nature of simulations, they by definition can exist on their own and require an offsite. The problem is that if one believes that we do live in a simulation, then one is still left with what the ontology of the second reality is. If one says that we are a simulation within a simulation, then that only brings the problem back up. The point is that ultimately there must be a base reality, and whatever that base reality is, it cannot have a digital ontology. One must again apply Occam's razor to this, since simulation theory is not simple as an explanation. Simulation theory also lacks explanatory power. Simulation theory does not explain anything new about our reality. Idealism can already explain all the features of reality under its mental ontology, the simulation theory would still require an offsite from which the simulation comes from. The best evidence for simulation theory, which is Brian Whitler's computer similarities, can all be explained under the ontology of idealism rather than simulation theory, and that idealism is simpler given that it is already a base reality. While it would be difficult, therefore, to explain the best evidence for simulation theory under physicalism, it is not difficult to explain under idealism, which makes idealism the best explanation for this evidence, and not simulation theory. This, of course, discredits the main arguments in favor of simulation theory's explanatory power. I also want to bring up the prior probability. Given our initial intuitions about the world, it is much more obvious and simple to say that we that the world's ontology is a base reality rather than not. We have no intuitive truth about why the world must be a simulation, and the intuition that we are in a base reality is very strong. Due to this fact, simulation theory thus requires a higher burden of proof than belief that we live in a base reality. Base reality can either be mental or physical, but it cannot be digital due to the very nature of simulations. So summary so far. To summarize our critique, I'll provide again a list of arguments I think show why simulation theory is inferior to the ontology of idealism. So first, the very nature of simulations require that we accept it to be, to be at least two levels of reality, one in which the simulation occurs, which is the digital ontology, and the second from which a base reality is present, which again, this could either be mental or physical. This is still true even if one says that there are simulations within simulations. All of the simulations would still be in the first world, which would have a digital ontology, and eventually you would need a second world or an offsite, which is the base ontology. Our initial intuitions tell us that we live in a base reality, and therefore simulation theory requires a higher burden of proof. The third argument, 
Simulation theory is not as simple as an explanation of the world, due to it requiring an extra digital ontology, and this ontology still depends on the base ontology. Saying we live in a world with a base ontology is therefore a simpler explanation of the evidence. This makes simulation theory therefore an ad hoc explanation of the world. Number four, simulation theory lacks explanatory power due to the main arguments for simulation theory being explained by the ontology of idealism, which again is still the simpler explanation. And finally, probably my biggest objection is this. Simulation theory has too many equivocations, if not defined properly, that it can make any reality simulation. A robust ontology must always be properly defined in the correct context. And given that the best definitions of simulation theory, which is the ones that I gave which avoid the equivocations, which is the definition of digital ontology, this leads to the view of it being ad hoc. Then once properly understood, simulation theory becomes inferior to a lot of other ontologies given these facts. So thank you for watching. And have a nice day.